All right, a lot of folks will be very <laughs> interested in this one. A film about Atlanta's infamous street party, Freak Nick. It's going to drop tomorrow. Yeah, Jennifer, from the wild parties to the headache that the crowds caused for police and a lot of people living here during the 90s, the film's executive producer, Jermaine Dupree, told me you will get the full story. Who are you with? Atlanta music mogul Jermaine Dupri says the much anticipated documentary Freaknik, The Wildest Story Never Told, will feature head turning moments you might expect and chronicle how the infamous street party helped solidify Atlanta as a black mecca. The way Atlanta is now, um, Freaknik basically birthed it. You know, people came to this city. And like I said, in, in Welcome to Atlanta, they came here and they didn't leave. They found out this was an amazing place for black people to raise their families, for black people to start a living. Five HBCU students started Freaknik as a spring break picnic in 1983. But by the mid-90s, it had grown out of control. You know, no internet, this was word of mouth, passing out flyers, and this became... 200,000, 300,000 people coming to Atlanta. It put a huge strain on police with traffic tie-ups, complaints of loud music, and lewd behavior. Freaknik ended in 1999. We have to look at Freaknik as a good and a bad thing. If some people have bad things to say about it, like the people that lived around Piedmont Park, they probably ecstatic that it's no more Freaknik. I know you've heard the criticism, people perhaps saying that this documentary will take us back and doesn't move the culture forward. Also, people who maybe were 22 at the time are now 42, 52, uh, and they don't necessarily want to see themselves or other people to see them in that light. Well, and they don't want people to see them in a the light, period, because this is black culture. Are you ashamed of our black culture when you say that? Like, are you ashamed that you was a 21-year-old kid that was going to college and college kids do wild, crazy things? All right, so Jermaine Dupree also told me this documentary is so nostalgic, celebrating a time before we had smartphones and social media, when young people were just out there carefree, living in the moment. He says it will also highlight how that era in Atlanta left a major mark on Southern hip hop culture. And guys, some of the songs, the bass music, the song yeah. My Boo, he said mm -hmm. it was all birthed out of Freak Nick. So. It sure was. I remember riding around as a child looking at all the people <laughs> and be like, I'm going to be at Freak Nick one day. And it never happened. It was never gone. Happened. But Crash was out there. I was there the whole time. I was doing traffic, working for Hot 97 with Ryan Cameron, and one of my favorite, uh, I mean, there's so many to choose from, was when a bunch of folks just stopped on I-20 and just brought out the barbecue, and next thing you know, everybody was waiting in line and doing their thing and getting some barbecue food and some ribs and chicken and yeah. having to go. And even the state troopers just said, you know what? We'll detour traffic. Y'all have fun. It wow. was amazing how this city came together. And yeah, there was a couple of bad things, but still, it, it really is Atlanta. Yeah, it what was a time. A, what was your biggest takeaway talking to him? Um, just how much it influenced the culture yeah. mm -hmm. beyond the bad stuff, if you will. So, by the way, it drops on Hulu tomorrow. Can't wait. So, if you want to watch it, it's on Hulu. We'll look for Crash.